Tragic loss, Palestinian teen killed by Israeli forces in the West Bank. Israeli forces were responsible for the tragic death of a 17-year-old Palestinian boy, Karam Ayman Mohammed Dwaikat, today in the northern-occupied West Bank near Nablus. The incident occurred in the Palestinian village of Beta, situated southeast of Nablus. Karam was shot with live ammunition by an Israeli soldier around 12.30 p.m., during confrontations involving Israeli forces accompanying Israeli settlers to the Mount Alarma area of Beta. Karam was shot in the waist, and the bullet exited through his back. Despite being transported to Rafidia Governmental Hospital in Nablus via ambulance, he was declared dead at 1 p.m. Video footage of the incident suggests that Karam did not present any immediate threat to the life or safety of others when he was targeted by Israeli forces. This tragic event is part of an ongoing series of incidents where Palestinian youth, including children, have lost their lives. These confrontations often occur in the context of Israeli settlers' attempts to establish a presence in disputed areas, as was the case with Mount Alarma near Beta. Such activities by Israeli settlers, often accompanied and protected by Israeli forces, have been a long-standing source of tension in the region. It's important to underline that under international law, the use of intentional lethal force is only justified when there is a direct and imminent threat to life or the potential for serious injury. These standards have raised concerns about the use of lethal force by Israeli forces, particularly when it results in the loss of young lives. Furthermore, the recent surge in violence, including these confrontations, is a cause for great concern. The situation in the region has been marked by ongoing tensions and clashes, particularly in response to the events in Gaza, where Israeli military operations have caused significant destruction and loss of life. Notably, the construction of Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem, is considered illegal under international law. The presence of Israeli civilians in occupied territory is a clear violation of international humanitarian law and is considered a war crime under the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. These incidents underscore the urgent need for diplomatic efforts and a peaceful resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. They remind us of the importance of de-escalation and a focus on dialogue, in order to prevent further loss of life and work towards a just and lasting solution for all parties involved. International attention and diplomatic initiatives should be directed towards these ends.